Many people in our community need help making ends meet, so they might turn to one of several local food pantries or soup kitchens. Now, anchor Brittany Johnson spoke to one group that just made a very important change in how they help families. A local organization committed to helping hundreds of families put food on the table is now making a big change that they hope will help them reach even more families. I want to introduce you now to Laura Ingram. Laura, you're from Feed NC, formerly known as the Mooresville Soup Kitchen. Talk to me about why you all are changing the name and the impact you're hoping to have. We wanted to make sure that people understood that this was a place of dignity and there has been a little bit of a negative connotation with a soup kitchen okay. name and it speaks to desperation at some point point. and so we wanted to make sure that people came to us before they were desperate and that we were able to help working families who were trying to get themselves back on their feet and take care of themselves. Helping working families. Talk to me about the name Feed and See. What does it stand for? Food, education, essentials with dignity. Uh, we do definitely provide food okay. and have gotten into the workforce education field um, with doing culinary job training. And then we provide essentials if people need food um, or things like um, other resources like shampoo and toiletries and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then dignity was important to us that this organization would lift people up and they would feel positive when they come in the door and they would feel proud when they were leaving. Awesome. So people won't be seeing the name Morsel Soup Kitchen anymore. As of yesterday, Correct. you all launched the Feed NC brand. What's been the reaction from the families? It was very positive yesterday. We actually had a couple of the families speak at the event um, and our mayor spoke um, as well. And our guests that spoke were extremely positive, understanding that this would help them to feel better about the organization. I think they also felt that it could help more people. They felt that this type of name would not hold us back to just serving Mooresville. And so I think I was surprised by how well they understood mm -hmm. the need for the change and supported it quite a lot. You mentioned that in changing the name, perhaps getting rid of the stigma that soup kitchen might only serve, let's say just a homeless family. But talk to me about the types of families you all are serving. These are families with jobs. These are families with children. Absolutely. Our families are struggling for many reasons, but a lot of which is the um, hourly wage that many of them are able to make. And so they do have one job. Some of them have two jobs. Um, there are families who are trying to care for children and the costs of caring for children, which can be expensive. And so they are really out there working hard, doing the best they can, and they just can't get to the end of the month having enough money to cover everything. And how do you all fill in that gap? You mentioned that you've also made some changes in just uh, how you all operate that makes it feel more conducive to families. Absolutely. We have a pantry that happens every Wednesday. We serve uh, roughly 700 families in our pantry, and we've tried very hard to expand those hours so that they don't have to stand in line. It doesn't have to take all day to get the groceries that they need. Many of our folks are coming on their lunch hour, or they're coming right before they need to go pick up their children from school. And so we want it to feel like a place where they can get the resources they need quickly, and they can get back to what they're doing, which most of the time is working. Laura, you all have changed the name. You're hoping they kind of shift to the mentality, the, the perspective that people have when it comes to seeking resources. What are you all doing next? Do you, you have vision of growing? Absolutely. We have outgrown our current space. We're in a small building um, in downtown Mooresville, and we simply do not have room to do what we need to do. We have a dining room, but the dining room has to be reinvented to okay. become a pantry. <laughs> and so we really would like to be able to have spaces to do all the things we need to do. We also need a larger warehouse space um, because we're distributing food to multiple different sites throughout uh, Mooresville and beyond that pass out food as well. And so um, we have been on a search for land. Okay. We're looking for several acres, hoping to just have a larger spot where we can grow food and gardens, have greenhouses, be able to have outdoor space where healthy food can be a part of um, what we grow ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we've been searching for land, and then once we locate the land, we'll be starting a capital campaign. Okay, all right, so we can look out for more growth from Feed NC. Laura Ingram here, the executive director. Laura, thank you for your time. We'll have information on WSOCTV.com about your mission, about the job programs that you all have to help family provide for themselves as well. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your time.